Sports fans and baseball fans, I'm here with my 1980 out of the park Pirates season as we march along in this particular season where we will take a look at the standings right now. Um, as you can see, I got the Pirates at 18 and 21. Not a very good record. Um, we're not doing that well. And we are second to last in the division. Uh, only a game behind the Cubs and uh, very also very close to the Phillies, but only a game and a half ahead of the Cardinals too. So Pirates not having a good season. Uh, as you can take a look, take a look around at the uh, rest of the divisions, who's winning them. I mean, you can see the 19, I don't know how good the 1980 Indians were but they're winning the AL East. I And I know that the New York Mets, who are winning our division, were terrible in 1980. But they're winning our division by two games. Over the Montreal Expos, who actually were good legitimately in 1980. And then you can see in the AL West, Kansas City's winning that. that that's probably par for the course. I think the 80 Royals were... Uh, a good team. In fact, they may have been in the uh, they might have been in the World Series. I don't remember, uh, but they I know they were a good team. And then you got the LA Dodgers uh, winning the uh, NL West division right now, which I think is probably about right. And Houston was I think Houston was pretty good too, but they're only twenty and twenty. So we'll see. It's kind of, these records are kind of a little wacky, if you ask me. Especially the fact that my Pirates are only 18 and 21. But uh, anyway, uh, we, uh, let's see what, um, go to the manager's office. And, uh, yeah, not much going on here. So let's get on with the game against the Phillies. Got to make a uh, lineup decision here. We're missing a catcher. I think Ed Ott is on the IL or whatever. So let's see. We got a right-hander on the mound. Um, and we got two right-handed catchers. I'm going to play Tony Pena, who was brought up because of the fact that Ed Ott is injured. And we got Dale Barra playing at third today, probably to give uh, a rest to uh, uh, Madlock. And uh, Ken Phelps, nice to see him playing. So that's our lineup. Omar Moreno in center, Phil Garner at second, Easler in right, Ken Phelps at first, Lee Lacey in left, Tim Foley at short, Pena at catcher, and Dale Barra at third, Rick Roden on the mound for us. So let's get on with the game. And we are up first, Omar Moreno against Paul Thurman's good, Thurman's guard. I don't remember that guy. I gotta say, I gotta be real honest here. I don't remember that guy. So maybe he's bad. Let's see, you know, he has a two ERA. So he's not really that bad. And Moreno flies out. That brings up Phil Garner, Scrap Iron. And Scrap Iron is gonna ground out to third base. And up steps Mike Easler. Mike Easler ripping a base hit, but with two outs, I don't know. I don't think we're going to be mounting any massive rallies. Ken Phelps, unless Ken Phelps jacks a homer right here. And no, he did not. Maybe in an elevator, but not right on the baseball field. So Roden marches out there, um, and he'll be pitching against Lana Smith. Got to watch that guy if he gets on, because he's a base-stealing threat for sure. 
and he's trying to bunt with nobody on. But there's two strikes, so he'll swing away and get a hit. And whoa, that, he got a, he legged out a double on that. Let me try a pitch out just in case he decides to go. Mm, he's not, at least not there. Bake McBride, I remember that guy. He was awesome. All right, so we got to fly out to center, and yeah, yes, he is antsy to go. I'm going to try a pitch out again. All right, Mike Schmidt, Michael Jack Schmidt is up. I probably should walk him, but I didn't, and he struck him out. Nice. Struck him out. Gary Maddox is up. Two down. The Sarge at the plate. And he's going to ground out to first. And that is it. So Thurman's guard is going back to work. You would think we could get through on this guy. I never even heard of him. And uh, that was a shallow fly to the outfield that the second baseman went back and got. And that's going to be a ground out to short. We're not really doing very well here. Tony Pena, our rookie catcher, and he's out. So that was a quick inning for Thurman's guard. And Rick Roden has to go back to work pitching against Jerry Willard. Never heard of this guy either, so hopefully he's out. No, no, you walk a guy I never even heard of. Manny Trio, I think this is Manny Trio, and he is going to get a base hit. We got two on, no outs. All of a sudden, Roden is in some real trouble, and they tried to bunt. It didn't happen, at least not right there. And this is Pete Rose. So, Pete Rose, was there a double play? No. So, we got Larry Boab. And he strikes out. Nice. And he just walked calmly back to the dugout, which is very un-Larry Boa-like. And I think that was maybe the pitcher, I would imagine. And he flies out. So Roden does get out of the inning, despite putting the first two guys on with no outs. And here is Dale Barra, Yogi's son, who was much worse than Yogi. And we've got Rick Roden up. Rick Roden ripping a hit. Got to love it when the pitcher gets a hit. So Rick Roden is aboard, and we've got Moreno up behind him. Man, Moreno ripping a double. Now we got to see if Roden can leg it out, which probably not. No. But two on, only one out, and scrap iron Phil Garner up. And Phil Garner ripping a base hit. But that's not going to get both, is it? Did it? No, it didn't. So we got runners at the corners, one down. Want to avoid the double play here. Easler. And Easler rips the hit. They tried to pitch him outside, and it didn't work. Tried to pitch him away, and he just went with the pitch. Thorman's guard getting his uh, guard handed to him here. Phelps is up. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. And they walk Phelps. Base is full. One out. We got a chance here. We really got to capitalize here. Lacey up. And Lacey does... Oh, yes, he does. And I'm going to send him. I'm sending the runners. I don't even care what your arm is. We got to get runs. So, yeah. Nice. Four nothing. Thurman's guard is not long for this game. I'm going to tell you that. Foley is up. And Foley pops out. Two down. And up steps Tony Pena. And he's going to be out, it looks like, and he is. But we got four runs, man. You can't, can't sneeze at four runs. Bottom of the third. Got to hope Roden can keep him down now. Top of the lineup with Lonnie Smith again. Man, Lonnie Smith just keeps going back to the wall. What is that? All right. So it's caught. One down. Bate McBride. 
Well, Bake McBride homered. Can't take that away from him. It's 4 1. Michael Jack Schmidt is up. And he's going to ground out to short. Schmidt has been pretty quiet here. And up steps Gary Maddox, the Sarge, playing center today. Or no, that's not that's not the Sarge. Gary Maddox is, uh, yeah, I was thinking of uh, Gary Matthews. So, yeah, Gary Maddox is the guy that uh, they said uh, one-third of the world, wait, Two thirds of the world is covered by water, and the other third is covered by Gary Maddox. So anyway, Thurman's guard is still out there, and Dale Barra is still our shortstop, and he's going to get a base hit. No, no, he's robbed, robbed by Matt. And there he is. He's covering, you know, the other third of the world. So Rick Roden is up with one down, and Rick Roden going the other way. I love that. Nice piece of hitting. Except he's out, but I mean, you know, at least he was taking a good approach. Omar Moreno up the plate. And Omar Moreno is going to fly out to center. So we're going to have to take a look at uh, Roden when he gets out there. Ah, his bar is pretty good. We're in the bottom of the fourth. It's four to one. Got to love where he is. And uh, Phelps flips it to Roden. For the first out, Manny Trio up. Manny Trio, who was recently, I think, in, inducted into the Phillies Hall of Fame, the Philadelphia Phillies Hall of Fame, and rightly so. He was a great second baseman. Pete Rose is up. Pete Rose sporting a go goatee in his photo, which I don't think he ever had. And he flies out to center. So Roden has a pretty easy inning there. We go to the top of the fifth. Phil Garner, scrap iron up. And scrap iron hit a nice liner, but it was right on the ground and right to the first baseman. Easler is up at the plate, one down. And he's walking. They walked Easler, wanted no part of him. Ken Phelps. Now, you don't want any part of Ken Phelps, but yes, you do. And he hits in too well, a force at second, fielder's choice. Two down, and Lee Lacey at the plate with a man aboard, and he's going to be out, looks like, and he is. So that four runs, I hope that four runs can hold up, because it looks like it might be all we get. Roden pitching against Larry Boa, the madman. And by the way, I'm watching the series Mad Men right now, and it is awesome. I am totally enthralled by it, but Larry Bow is not on the show. I'll just clear that up. Thurman's guard, they're going to let Thurman's guard hit. They're happy with a 4-1 deficit with a guy that was nobody even knows who he is. And then up steps Lonnie Smith with two down. And Lonnie Smith, yeah, just let him aboard and let him steal all the bases he wants, whatever. See, I'm going to pitch to the batter, and he's down by three runs, but he'll still steal. He really shouldn't, but he will. And there he goes. But, you know, like I said, it's my philosophy with two outs is it's up to the pitcher to get the batter out. Let the runner do whatever he wants. And that's going to be a ground ball to Phelps, and he makes the play. And it's still 4-1 us. 4-1 good guys. Top of the sixth. Foley up at the plate. And he's gone quickly. Tony Payne is up. He's out. And uh, Bear is up. And he's going to be out, which is in a way kind of good, because I think Roden will lead off the uh, top of the uh, top of the seventh and we might think about changing him although right now he doesn't look like he's really too spent just yet and I'd like to get him through seven if I can especially since you know we've got some question marks in our bullpen 
So he flies, he gets another guy to fly out, and there's two down quickly here in the bottom of the sixth. And that brings up Jerry Willard. Jerry Willard is going to fly out, and you know what? I got to go with Roden. I'm going to let Roden hit. I mean, he's got a hit, and he had a nice approach on the one that he was out on, but Neri just plain strikes out. Moreno is up. And Moreno is going to fly out. Plus, the rest of our offense really hasn't done much uh, since the four-run outbreak in the second, back in the second or third, whenever it was. Thorman's guard still out there dealing. And that's going to be an out. So it probably wouldn't have resulted in anything anyway. So I'm glad I didn't. But yeah, I mean, you can see right here, he's not really that tired yet. And we're in the bottom of the seventh. And that's going to be a pop out. Pop out to Phelps. And up steps Pete Rose. And he's, uh, you got to call him out. No, he's walking. He held up on that. Where's the umpire? Larry Boa. Larry Boa, is that a double play? No. Larry Boa legs out the back end of that, so it's not a double play. And Greg Luzinski, the bull, and it does look like the bull. And he strikes him out. Nice. All right, we're going to Mark W. Davis is pitching. I knew they pinch hit for him with the bull because I didn't see the bull in the game before that. So Easler batting against Mark Davis. Mark W. Davis. And he's going to be walking. Nice. He held up. These umpires are pretty generous with whether the guy's held up or not, but I'll take it. Ken Phelps. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. And Ken Phelps rips a hit off a lefty. You don't see that too often with Phelps. All right, so two on, no outs. Lee Lacey up. And Lee Lacey sends a deep fly ball. Can we? No, we can't. No chance. Two on, one out, Foley up. And Foley is going to hit into a double play. So thank you, Foley. And look at this, man. Roden is still not tired. Man, this guy, he's saving it. Roden is smoking the Phillies. And I'm loving that. Bake McBride up with one down, nobody on. And that's going to be a home run. All right, so now it's 4-2. I probably should get somebody up. And now, call me crazy, but let's get somebody up. I'm going to get Colby up in the pen. And Michael Jack Schmidt is up. Michael Jack Schmidt, but that's just going to be a fly ball. Two down. And up steps Gary Maddox. And Gary Maddox ripping a base hit. I think if Colby's ready, we'll go get him. Nope, he's still warming up. And that's going to be a base hit. Now, hopefully, Colby is ready. Nope, he's still warming up. God dang. What do you need to re... Man. All right. Let's see. Are you ready yet? And my God, how long does it take this guy to get ready? If I'd known it was going to take him an inning and a half to get ready, I would have not warmed him up. All right, but he got out of it, so it's still only 4-2. We go to the top of the ninth. Tony Pena up. And you know I'm going to pinch hit for Roden this time. Tony Payne gets a base hit, especially now. 
Dale Barra, I'm going to, uh, you know what? I'm going to bunt with Dale Barra. And they do get the uh, back runner, so I do have a guy at second now with one out and Roden up, and I am going to pinch hit for him. And that's going to be, let's see, who's pitching? A left-hander. So, yeah, it's going to be Bill Robinson. Bill Robinson pinch hitting, and they're going to walk him. That brings up Moreno, the lefty. No wonder. But is, did he beat out the back end of it? No. All right, so to call the now we know is definitely ready, and he's going in the game. It's to call these game. We're up by two, bottom of the ninth. And, uh, yeah, I don't want it to be to call these game. All right, we're going to have to warm up Enrique Romo. I'm not taking any chances here. Hopefully it doesn't take him an inning and a half to warm up. And another base hit. How did I know? Come on, DeColvey. All right, well, we got the runner at second. That's nice. Uh, McBride up. No, oh my. All right, he got it. Nice. We don't even need to throw that runner out. Oh, we didn't throw him out. He didn't go either. It's still 4-2 with two down now. Michael Jack Schmidt, you know what? I am going to intentionally walk him. I know I shouldn't. No, I'm going to pitch to him. I'll pitch to him. Righty on righty. And he does fly out. Nice decision. And that's going to be the game. We win it 4-2. So, yeah, they... Uh, Roden went eight, and to call, he got the save. He, you know, gave me a heart attack, but he got the save. So if we go back and we look at the standings now, we are 19 and 21. We're getting clawing our way back to 500, and we are tied with the Cubs. We, we, let's finish today. Yep, tied with the Cubs. And so that was an exciting game. Hope you liked it. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.